My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love, love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. Hi everyone, Glamma here. Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamma, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. Today I thought I would show you a new stitch and this is actually an edging and the book that I learned it from calls it a filigree arch and this is what it looks like right here. So I just learned how to do it this morning and I thought I would turn the camera on and show all of you guys how to do it as well. So if you're interested in this edging, then just please keep watching and all you need is some practice yarn, a crochet hook, any size, cause this is just for practice and a pair of scissors. Alrighty, go get your stuff and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm using Karen Simply Soft yarn and a 5.0 millimeter hook, also known as H in American sizes. And like I said, the yarn and the hook doesn't really matter. The only thing you really want to be aware of is that the hook um, is good for the size of yarn that you're using. And on your packaging, it usually recommends the size of um, knitting needles and crochet hooks that it works best with. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And if you hear me pause once in a while, I'm going to try to make this video without editing it, so you might hear me pause just to read my notes, okay? Alright, so to get started, we are going to start with a foundation chain, and we're going to make chains in multiples of 10, and then we're going to add 4 at the end, okay? So for this um, demonstration, I'm going to make 20 chains, and then we're going to add 4, okay? Alrighty. So I'm going to start off with just a little short tail and we're going to make a slip knot. Okay. And now we're going to chain 20. There's 20. And if you heard licking, that was my Yorkie sitting next to me. She's licking her lips. <laughs> All right, so there's 20. And now we're going to add um, four chains. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And so now for row one, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So there's chain one and there's chain two. And we're going to single crochet into that. Okay. And then we're going to make single crochets all the way down till we get to the end of the row. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and go ahead and make one single crochet all the way till you get to the end. And that's where I will meet you. Okay. So. I'm almost at the end. I have two more chains to go. There's one single crochet into that chain and one more single crochet into the last chain. And there's our foundation row. And now we're going to chain one, turn our work around, and we're going to make one single crochet into the very first um, single crochet. Okay, there was our last one. We're going to just turn right around and single crochet right into that. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we are going to miss a stitch. We're going to skip that one and we're going to chain one. And because we chain one, we're going to miss that stitch. We're going to skip it and single crochet into the next one. Okay. All right, do that all the way to the end. That's easy enough, right? Make a chain, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next. Make a chain, skip a stitch, 
single crochet into the next. And we're just going to do that all the way to the end. Skip, single crochet, chain, skip, single crochet. Skip, single crochet, chain, skip, single crochet into the very last single crochet of the row. All right, now we're going to chain one, turn our work around, and we're going to start row two, okay? We're going to single crochet into that very first single crochet, and we're going to single crochet into that chain one space from the previous row. Okay, and now we're going to chain one, we're going to skip that single crochet, and we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space. And now we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we're going to skip, I believe, two chain one spaces. So you see, there's a single crochet, a chain one space, a single crochet, chain one space and another single crochet. Well, we're going to skip all of that um, and we're going to go into the third chain one space. Okay, so there's one chain one space, two chain one spaces, and there's the third one. And we're going to single crochet into that. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip that single crochet and we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space and we're going to chain skip the next single crochet and into that next chain one space we're going to single crochet and we're going to chain six one two three four five and six and now we're basically going to do the same thing we're going to skip the two chain one spaces there's one there's two and we're going to find the third one and we're going to single crochet into that, chain one, and we're going to skip that single crochet, and we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space, and we're going to single crochet into the last single crochet. Alrighty, there, we got it. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to do the very last row of this edging, okay? Now we're going to chain one, turn our work around, and this is the last row of our edging, like I said, and we're going to single crochet right there into the first single crochet. Oops. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into that chain one space right there. Okay. And now we are going to skip that single crochet and we're going to put four single crochets into this big chain six space. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to do four single crochets and then we're going to chain three and then we're going to put four more single crochets, okay? So here's one and two and three and four and now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Scoot that to the middle. Okay, we're going to put four more single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and now let's just center that. There we go. Yeah. Okay, and so now we are going to skip that single crochet and we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space right there. Chain one, skip that single crochet, go into the next single crochet and make a single crochet. And now we are going to skip that single crochet and repeat what we just did in here. 
with four single crochets. One, oops, I almost started making a double. Two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, and three. Put four more single crochets into that chain six space. There's one, and two, and three, and four. Now let's scoot it all to center it. Okay, so there we go. And now we are going to skip that single crochet, chain, I mean single crochet into that chain one space. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip that single crochet and then we're going to go into the next very last single crochet with a single crochet and that's it. Chain one, cut your yarn when you're done and that's it. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is how you make the filigree arch edging. Yeah, so yeah, super simple. If you need more practice, just rewind, watch it, listen to it all over again and keep practicing. And like I said, you can put this along anything. It's an edging, you can put it at the edge of a sweater. Um, on the sleeves, on the hem of your sweater, on the collar, anything that you want an edging on, around a pillow, around a pillowcase, anything. <laughs> you can make these as straps like I've told you in the past. I love using edging as straps. And yeah. Alrighty guys, so next time I will teach you another edging or stitch or some kind of motif, okay? Alrighty guys, don't forget how much I love you and don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. Alrighty, bye bye. Thank, Thank you for watching our Glamos channel. channel.